Hi. Anytime I used to think of Lithuania, I always thought of this. Like most other basketball lovers, I could really appreciate the heart, the grit, and the effort that the Lithuanians always put forth when they played Team USA. And especially um, in this past Olympics, when the Team USA was a 35-point favorites, but that was underdogs, Lithuanians had something else to say about it. Instead of losing by 35, they lost by 5 points showing that they were still a force to reckon with, and always will be. So when I had the opportunity to take a class to learn about the culture about these people, I jumped at the chance. In my Lithuanian culture class, we have a project we have to do. So I chose to do a video presentation, obviously. So let's take a look at the first interview. Okay, you guys state your name. What's your name? My name is Karila Vaitkuta. Nice to meet you, nice Stephanie meet you. Smith. Um, just to got a qu few questions. Um, the first one is, uh, what is the difference since you've been here in Chicago, and what's the difference between H Chicago and Lithuania? Oh, okay. Well, the difference is a different different countries, you know. So, uh, well, Chicago is just a city, you know, and it's so huge that the um, in Chicago alone, you know, there are as many people as in all of Lithuania, okay. you know, and Lithuania is a country, you okay. know, so, uh, so we have smaller towns, you know, okay. our biggest town, our capital city is around 1 million people, you okay. know, so it's a small town compared to here. Mm -hmm. Also, we don't have as much diversity as Chicago has. Um, most people that live there are of one ethnic background, okay. you know, it's Lithuanians and mm -hmm. just a few um, other, like maybe Poles, you know, from Polish people or, or, or some Jewish people, some Russian people, but it's really not as diverse as here because uh, historically it's always Lithuanians who live there and just a few came, you know, from the neighboring countries. Okay. So from that stems a lot of differences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but what have... I'm sorry. The next question I have is, what have a lot of Lithuanians that's been here in Chicago have do, done to keep their culture alive? Mm -hmm. uh, what they, what you, you're asking, what they yeah, have done? Yeah. Yes. The well, uh, they first of all they have Lithuanian Saturday schools. Okay. And in the Saturday schools, they teach Lithuanian culture, Lithuanian history, Lithuanian language. Okay. So that's one thing, you know. Then they have cultural centers, just like this museum, you know. Mm -hmm. So they show off their culture, you okay. know, so other uh, people would understand it and know what it is. But also, uh, we have some other centers that we celebrate the Lithuanian holidays, be it. Uh, uh, Lithuanian historical holidays or, or religious holidays or anything important to us and our, our history and our culture so we do celebrate the holidays um, we have all kinds of events parades okay. <laughs> you know and uh, so yeah trying to to keep the culture alive here okay next question uh, what is the what is the what's your favorite Lithuanian food? Uh, well, I, um, dish. well, I think I like that cold beet soup a lot, okay. you know, I don't know if ever you ever tried it, 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 it looks really pink, and a lot of people think, well, this is yeah, no. looks strange, <laughs> but it's actually beets, you know, okay. it's a root vegetable, and it gives you the color, but it's cold, you know, okay. so in the summer days, it's very, very good, you know, so okay. I really like that. <laughs> Okay, um, well, last question. What is the, um, I, I hear that basketball is very important in Lithuania. How, mm -hmm. is it really that important? Mm -hmm. Very, very. Some people say, well, this is our second religion, you okay. know, <laughs> you know, basketball. But it's been very important, well, for a few reasons, you know. It's a great game, obviously, you know, and everybody likes to play it. But for many years when Lithuania was under this, 
Soviet Union um, and oppressed, you know, and was not a free country. Uh, basketball was one of the means to show our independence, you know, because when Lithuanian team was playing the Russian team, mm -hmm. it was like a political event. Everybody okay. would be glued to their TVs, and since Lithuanians were so good, they would beat the Russian guys sometimes, that would be like a huge national holiday in <laughs> Lithuania. So that was a way also for, you know, to show our unity and okay. um, us as Lithuanians that our spirit is not dead even though the country is oppressed and all that. But so basketball was not only a sports game, it was more than that, you know, it, okay. it, it also was the spirit of independence, okay. you know, through the game, you know, so that's how it's important and then also when Lithuanians uh, started participating in the Olympic Games as a separate independent country it was a really big deal you know okay. so and they even won bronze yeah I mean <laughs> I, when I look at the, uh, the, at the Olympic track record the, the Lithuanians always gave the United States the biggest threat mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and for a very long time so I can definitely tell that it's a very and thinking thing. how small this yeah. country is you know and we don't have that many people, you know, and, you know, yeah. going against, you know, the United States. <laughs> so that's like really, really a big deal. Yes, it is. Well, thank you. Okay. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. That was a great interview with Carly from the Stanley Museum on 65th in Pulaski. If you ever have an opportunity to go there, I'm telling you, go there. You will learn a lot. But now, let us check out our second interview and see what we can learn from another Fellow UIC student. What is your name again? Gerda Kugudaita. Okay, Gerda? Yeah. Okay, Gerda. Gigi for short. <laughs> okay, Gigi. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Vilnius, Lithuania. Okay, how long have you been uh, in Chicago? For 13 years this month. Okay. Um, what's the difference between Lithuania and Chicago? What you see? <laughs> uh, where do I begin? Um, the people are completely different, completely different. Uh, well, one, diversity. Chicago is extremely diverse, mm -hmm. extremely diverse. Lithuania, not so much. Chicago is really accepting of different people. Lithuania, not so much. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, no, no, it's not. Um, <laughs> trust me. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, in Lithuania, okay, here, you see someone you don't know, you'll still say hi or, or just like, like, nod your head or smile. In Lithuania, if you do that, people will come up and ask what's wrong with you and if you just got out of a mental hospital. You don't do that. You don't look people in the face, you don't look people in the eyes, you just walk away. That's, uh, okay. Yeah, that's Lithuania for <laughs> That's a big difference from, from here and there. Um, yeah. But it, don't get me wrong, like, it's not bad. No, I definitely understand. <laughs> if you're Lithuanian. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, how important is Lithuanian uh, folklore to the culture? It is very important. It is um, part of holidays. It's part of um, religion. It's part of... Um, like we still have pagan holidays that we celebrate and we're not pagan anymore, like yeah. welcoming summer or we'll have, there's a lot, a lot of traditions that have just been passed down uh, from generations that we just don't let go, kind of. Yeah, it, I, I know, I heard of one, um, it's where you guys, like, it's, it's like a woman fights a big fat guy that's like a pig, it's like a devil, I think. It's like the, it's uh, like the screen. Uh, what is it? I believe so. It's, it's like, like the, telling winter to go away. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's basically what we do is kind of we make a scarecrow and we burn it and we say "jama jama bekish kiyama," which means like winter, winter, like go away, basically. And then it's okay. Our Urgaviness is like you guys is Halloween. Okay. Except instead of candy, well now, like these days, uh, people do give out candy, but usually it's uh, pancakes. Really? 
Yeah, and there's a little rhyme that you say when, and you have to dress up like gypsies. You dress up like gypsies, and um, you go door to door, and uh, like there's this little rhyme like you have to say. It's like mas chegou na espaltava, se não bleed na cacava, se o Diego bleed na mochita para as empinigos que which means like we're gypsies from uh, whatever place and. Uh, we want pancakes and like hot cocoa, and if you don't have pancakes or hot cocoa, you better start giving us money. So, <laughs> yeah. So okay. I don't know. It's like a fun holiday now. Okay. That's one thing. Another folklore thing that we kind of have is um, like the traditional dress, like the costumes. Um, we wear them everywhere, like for holidays and stuff. If um. For example, like Lithuanian school, if there's a class picture, they expect you to wear the costume. If you don't have it, borrow it, but you kind of have to have it or else kind of you're looked down upon. Okay. Yeah, that was my, going to be my next question. Did you go to Saturday school? I did. I did. I graduated. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, how, how important do you think that Saturday school is for, is, is to, is for, for our Lithuanians? It is, it's extremely important. I mean, if I'm fortunate enough to have kids one day, they are going to know Lithuanian. They are going to be raised with the Lithuanian traditions. It's something we hold close and dear to our hearts. And okay. I, at first, hated Lithuanian school. When my mother told me that I had to go to Lithuanian school, I started crying. I said, there is no way <laughs> you're going to drag me there. You're going to have to drag me by my hair because I'm not going to go. But... <laughs> Um, towards the end, I really started liking it, and um, I, I looked forward to school, and we would kind of, um, one of the reasons I really, uh, like, I have good memories there is because I made a lot of Lithuanian friends that I did not have, mm -hmm. so all of us kind of made groups, and we kind of made fun of kind of the teachers, and we'd, like, do pranks, and it's just everybody got really close, and okay. it's it's a good place to socialize and speak Lithuanian because let's face it, you don't get to do that often at you know yeah school really. Okay, uh, what what kind of things did you guys learn there? Uh, history, geography, literature, uh, basically everything except for math and sciences. Okay, um, what do you th okay? Ooh. Okay, what's your favorite food? Um, there's a lot, but probably kugelis or um, anything, anything with potatoes and sour cream and bacon works. <laughs> um, okay, um, favorite sport? Basketball. Basketball, okay. Favorite basketball player? Uh, there's a lot, Volanchunas, or there's, okay, he's always going to be a legend, yes, he can, it's just, he will always be a legend, he's like, you guys are Michael Jordan, he's okay. magic. Okay, um, that's it, well, thank you, I appreciate it, you have a nice day, okay? All right, you All right. take care, bye-bye. I apologize for the unseen video and voice, but that's what happens sometimes when you use uh, Skype as, <laughs> as, a, as an interview tactic. But in all, those were some great interviews, and I really appreciate Carly and Gigi for doing those interviews for me. And again, I please beg you, if you could, go to the Stanley Museum on 65th and um, in Pulaski. See what it's all about. It only costs $7 for students. Uh, take the family. I brought, my, I brought my cousins. They even enjoyed it. Um, but I learned, like I said, I learned a lot, uh, learned about their culture. Um, I learned about why it's important to keep it alive. That's why they have their Saturday schools, uh, so they can keep that culture alive and ingrain it into their children. So they just keep going and going and going so they don't forget it. But I also see the similarities between the two cultures of Americans and Lithuanians. Um, Lithuanians are passionate about their sports. Americans are passionate about their sports, whatever it may be. I know I'm passionate about basketball, so the Lithuanians. That's why I appreciate 
the Lithuanians and their basketball skills. Um, and with that, that's all I have. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, these interviews and what I had to say and what Carly and Gigi had to say as well. Uh, I'm about to head out to this run to the Lithuanian restaurant to check out these potatoes. It's a lot of sour cream and bacon. So peace out and God bless. Oh, yeah.